Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wishing you all a very happy Resurrection Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Well, in the most outset, I give all glory and honor to a living God for His love and mercy towards us. And secondly, I give my heartfelt gratitude to Eniet for having me on this platform. And not forgetting all the Eniet family members. May the grace of God and the goodness of God be upon you all as we celebrate Resurrection Sunday on this special day. You know, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are witnessing one of the historic days in the history of Christianity. 2,000 years ago, on this day, the world has heard one of the greatest news in the history of humankind, and that is, He is no more in the grave, He is risen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth paid the penalty for our sin, buried our transcreation, and He rose again. And we are witnessing this historic day in the history of Christianity today. We are reminded from the scripture in Matthew, um, the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 28, beginning from verse 5 and 6. The word of God says in Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 and 6, And the angels answered and said unto the women, Fear no ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the bliss where the Lord lay. You know, the angels were the first person to pronounce or to proclaim this resurrection message. After the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ and so-called the followers, they lost their hope. They lost their way. They do not have anybody to lead them. And you know, According to the Jewish tradition, the third day is a day of purification. So Jesus was buried in the dawn, leading by Mary Magdalene and some other women. They went to the dawn to do the purification on the body of Jesus Christ. The moment they arrive at the dawn, they find a very unusual thing on that particular moment. They saw the stone was rolled away. The grave was wide open. They entered inside their tomb and they could not find the body of Jesus Christ. At that moment, the angel of the Lord appeared and said to them and gave this greatest news, that is, he is no more in the grave. He is risen. You know, the news of Jesus' resurrection or the power of Jesus' resurrection changed the history of Christianity once and for all. If Jesus did not rose again, today we won't have any Christianity. But because of his resurrection, we have risen Christ, a living hope in a living God. And this message of resurrection has changed the entire environment. You know, Jesus Christ was crucified for a sin. He was wounded and punished for our transcreation. He was buried in the dome for our iniquities. Jesus paid the penalty of our sin. The word of God says, as far as the scripture is concerned, the wrath of God was fully satisfied on the cross. Every sins that we have ever committed from the time of creation, every transcreation, every iniquities that we have committed has been buried inside the tomb. But when Jesus rose again, He rose again in the newness of life, in righteousness, in holiness, and in purity. You know, every wrath of God, every sinful activities, every demonic forces, every sins, the that a human has ever committed, Jesus observed on his body and he buried inside the tomb and he rose again without uh, any sin, without any plan. 
and that makes Jesus Christ the living uh, God that we worship today. But you know what? When Jesus Christ was crucified and when he was buried inside the tomb, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, they lost their hope. They lost their vision. They lost their faith in God. They do not have anybody to lead them. They don't have any other option at the same time. Therefore, they went back to their old profession. 70% of Jesus' disciples were a fisherman. So they went back to their old profession, they went back to their old nature, they went back to their old habit. We find this incident in the Gospel of John chapter number 21, beginning from verse 1. But the most interesting, interesting things in this passage is when they get to know that Jesus is risen from the dead, when they get to learn about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you know, their hope was renewed. Their vision was restored. Their faith in God was re-strengthened. And with this power of resurrection, with this um, power of Jesus' resurrection, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ changed the world upside down. And in the same manner today, in a journey with God, Along the way, due to some circumstances and perils in our life, we might have lost our way. We might have lost our hope in God. We might have lost our trust in the Lord. We might have lost our vision. But if you accept and believe that Jesus died for my sin and He rose again for my justification, then the same resurrection power will manifest in our life. In the life of the disciples, when the power of the resurrection manifests in their life, their faith was re-strengthened, their vision was restored, their hope was renewed, and with this power, they changed the world upside down, and the same power of resurrection can manifest in our life if we only believe and accept the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. According to John chapter 11, verse 40, the Word of God says, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you only believe, you will see the glory of God. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if you believe and accept that Jesus died for my sin, for our sin, and He rose again for our justification, then in Jesus, we have the newness of life. In Jesus, we have the same victory. No human being has ever compared this great love in their scholar, scholarly uh, writing, in their discussion, in their theories, or in their books. But Jesus is the only person who rose again from the dead. And He rose again in righteousness, in holiness, and in purity. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ today, as we celebrate this Resurrection Sunday, I want to encourage each and every one of you to celebrate this Resurrection Sunday as a symbol of victory. You know, Jesus claimed the victory over death. He claimed the victory over grave, victory over every demonic forces, every evil forces, every sin. And through Jesus, we have the same victory. Let us celebrate this Resurrection Sunday as a symbol of the newness of life. When Jesus rose again, He rose again in righteousness, holiness, and in purity. And through Jesus Christ, we have the same righteousness, the same holiness, and the same purity. Let us celebrate this Resurrection Sunday as a symbol of worship of risen Christ. Believing that Jesus Christ is alive today. Believing that the risen Christ is in our hearts, in our life today. If we celebrate with this symbol as a sign of victory, as a sign of newness of life, and as a sign of worship of risen Christ, then the glory of God, the resurrection power will manifest in our life. Do not let anything keep you away from experiencing the power of Jesus' resurrection in your life and in our life. Therefore, I invite every one of you to celebrate this Resurrection Sunday by believing that Jesus has paid the penalty for our sin. And if we accept, if we believe and accept, that Jesus rose again for our justification, then the glory of God, the resurrection power will manifest in our life. 
Therefore, I encourage every one of you to celebrate to the fullest by knowing that Jesus has paid the penalty for us and gave us the way of salvation and make our salvation secure. Let us celebrate this Resurrection Sunday as a sign of victory, newness of life, and the worship of risen Christ. May the good Lord bless us together as we continue our journey with God and may the power of the resurrection, may the glory of God manifest in our day to day life. God bless you all and have a blessed Resurrection Sunday. Amen.